Hello, stampers. It's Faye from Faye's Stampin' Studio. Uh, thank you for stopping by and joining me today with this. Uh, I just wanted to show you the new Pansy Patch bundle that's becoming available short in uh, the new 21-22 uh, annual catalog. Um, I'm going to show you a, a different kind of... Uh, it's a window and it's a Zedful card. I, I don't really know what it was called. Uh, I got the idea from Sue Stampfield. Um, I saw a video and it's very, I, I did very similar to what she had done. But anyways, I came up with my own version. Um, so first off, this is what we are going to be using. And I'm going to be using... I'm actually going to use the designer series paper, the coordinating designer series paper. It's called Pansy Petals designer series paper. There's some beautiful designs in here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to start off with the, um, okay, let's move this out of the way for now. And, and we're going to start off with the, um, this is actually the design, a sheet from the designer paper as are the, can't get a hold of those, the little leaves. So the leaves, I used the one of the dies that's in the pack. I used these two dies here to cut the leaves out of the designer series paper. So you could cut a lot of leaves out of this designer paper, this sheet. Um, and the, uh, the flip side is gorgeous too because it's the gingham, I love, I love that gingham. And then I cut the pansies from here. So this is what the pansies look like. And you'll need this larger die cuts the bigger pansies, as you can see. And then there's a smaller one and it will cut these smaller pansies out. So you could get, you can get a lot of, um, you can get a lot of designer series paper pansies cut out of those, out of that sheet as well. So that's, what I'm going to use as well as I'm going to use I'm going to use this here p this piece as well as this little um the bud of the flower and then this is the part of the bud as well be opening up so I've gone ahead and cut this one I put this actually on our adhesive sheets so it'll be easier that way to put together I hope and I've already gone ahead and cut the other two pieces so I will be adhering these two pieces together like that which since I have it here you know what I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and then it will be done I'm just gonna use a little bit of Tombow glue on it and these have got some uh, embossing on the dies they cut as well as emboss so they they're really quite detailed I don't know if you can see it or not on there quite quite detailed so that's that one and I'm gonna I'm just gonna set that butt aside for now as well as the leaves and I don't want to lose them before I get to that part of the card <coughs> excuse me so you're gonna need uh, you're gonna need a piece of whisper white card stock that is eight and a half by five and a half and I've got it scored at four and a quarter so that's half use your bone folder to burnish it well and then the inside you're going to need a piece five inches by eight inches and that is scored at two inches and four inches okay so first we're going to Fold it. This one it is going to be folded in half, and then we're going to fold this other piece. It goes back, so it's going to look like that when we're ready for it. So I'm just going to set that off. And the other piece, I have a piece of designer series paper that's that is four inches by five and a half. So that piece we're going to start off with, and I'm going to adhere it to the front of this card. And I'm going to just use our stamp and seal, but I, I don't want to get anything in the middle because we're going to cut out the 
the center of that card out of the paper because it's going to have a we're going to make an open window there i should have had a card made oh can't get that working there we go i should have made a, a, a card first but i kind of knew what i was doing so sometimes i i can do it that way and the next time not so we're going to do that and then the next thing is I'm going to use the our, our layering circle framelits and I'm going to use I'm going to use the third largest circle and I'm going to cut it out of here. I want to use the white piece for the in, for the card as well. So that's why I didn't want to put glue in the in the center of it. And I'm going to just pop over to my big shot and run this through quickly. And in the meantime, I have mm -hmm. so there. As you can see, this is what that looks like. So then now I have two pieces because I can use that and I can use that gingham piece on a different card. So it's looking like this now. And then I actually went ahead and cut a little bit of a, a frame to go on around this here on here like that. Thought it would kind of look nice. So I used the largest scalp circle and I also use the same size circle, so I'd have that. And I'm going to just pop a little wee bit of adhesive around the, this circle to put this on. And I'm going to just try and line that up on there. There. So that looks nice. And we'll be able to use that on another card along the way. Okay. So the next thing is... I've got to think about how this goes. I think it goes this way. Yeah. So this goes on this way so that... This is going to adhere on here like that so that when you close it, this white piece, we're gonna put it in here. It's gonna adhere onto that flap. But first off, I'm going to just, um, I'm gonna put glue on the, the back of this full piece. And we're gonna stick that inside of her card. So as you remember, it was four inches by eight and a half, eight inches, and it scored at two and four inches to make that. Okay, now I could stick this on here, but I think I'm going to, I am going to uh, put my, I'm gonna put my pansy together here. And I think I'm going to use it, to do it like this. And if I wanted to pop this up a little bit, sometimes I would, I would just cut another solid piece from pa designer paper and I'd stick it on the back of the designer series paper so that it has a little bit of dimension, a little stronger for the process. So that's a good thing to do sometimes if you're looking at it. And that's gonna go on there and I'm just going to tuck these two in here. But I want to make sure that they are down underneath. I don't want them to be sticking over the edge, otherwise the card's not going to open properly. So I'm just going to stick a piece of... Actually, I think I'll put it on the front here. 
and then I'm going to uh, adhere them onto the, uh, oopsie, I put that on the, So I want to just tuck these under here, but I again I want I have to make sure that they're not. I'm gonna move that out of the way. I I need to make sure that they're not going to be too uh, sticking out on the edges, st hanging over the edge at all. Yeah, that's kind of a cute. And we'll just use a couple more of these on here and pop it up. I'll pick off these backs and then stick it on there. So then this is just going to fit on here. It's just going to go in there, or in there. So that'll cover that up. But, so now I am going to put just a bit of adhesive inside of this circle. Just like that. And very carefully put this down in that circle. And that's added on like, so then when you open it, it's going to open up like this. And you'll have all kinds of space to write. I think that's really, really cute. So I'm going to, ah. so when this is closed, I think I'll put this here so that it kind of hangs down like that on that. So since I've added the sticky on that skinny one, I am going to actually stick this down first. And then I'll pull off my pull off my adhesive. I love these adhesive. It works so well for anything that's for any very fine pieces. And that's kind of there like that. So when you see it from the top, it looks like the W that I said it's kind of called that. I'm calling it that. I'm not sure. I'm calling it a window W, w fold. I really have no clue what I should call it. But anyway, that's that. And I think we'll do a greeting on here. And maybe we'll use some greetings that are in here. I think I'll say happy birthday. I'm always sending birthday cards, so... Happy birthday, and I'm going to stamp that directly onto the front here. I think that'll show up really nicely. And we're going to use, I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss as well, so. Blackberry Bliss ink out. Oh no, I stuck my thumb in that ink pad. That's never a good thing. Especially when you're working with white too. I'm going to see if I can get this on here straight because I'm I haven't got it on the block as straight as I'd like. So here's what our outside looks like. I think we'll add some embellishments, but I'm going to do the inside too. So we're going to say... The little things you do make such a big difference. Okay, 
Okay, I need to find a block for that. And again, I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss on this one here. And I want to have that so it's in behind that. Oh, looks like I got that on there. So there, a little, I put it, I rushed and I got it on a little bit crooked. But it is in behind there. So I think that's really cute. And the only thing left is some kind of an embellishment. How about... I like these resin hearts. So I'm thinking I'd like to put some white resin hearts on there. I'll use three of them. And I am going to try and put them right anywhere on there. Oopsie. Sometimes they stick on you. And I've got one more I'm going to use here. And there. So I think that turned out really pretty cute. And so you'll be able to pick up this um, bundle anytime after May the 4th. And if you want to get your hands on it sooner, just join my team. Um, that would be, be uh, great. So, okay. Thanks for stopping by, and I will keep you posted on other fun things going on. Okay, thanks. Bye.